How is it going everyone and welcome to episode 1 of the FIFA 17 Road to the Ultimate Team. I did this series last year, or some of it anyway, and uh, I didn't finish it because I only had the one account and I wanted to play more Ultimate Team. But this year, there's no promises either to be honest because this account is kind of glitched, but you know what, I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, basically... This, in this series, the aim is not to not to win Division 1, really, but it's just to get an overall beast team. Now, in last year's series, I don't think I quite did that, but in, on the account, I definitely did that. If you go and watch my squad builder video that I did, um, that that is the best team I've ever had on Ultimate Team, ever. Trust me. Um, so, yeah, to start off this series, obviously last series, we started off with the Port Vale team, and we just went from there, really. We we, uh, we had Di Maria on loan, and we built a team around Di Maria. This year, it's kind of the same thing, except the starting team this year is a bit different. Again, it's 100 chemistry, but this year, I'm starting with a League 2 team. Not a Port Vale team, because obviously I'm doing a career mode with them, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have a team of them on here as well. But a League 2 team. And some of these players I've used before, some of them... I've never used in my life, some of them, well I actually know who they all are, believe it or not. Um, but we start off in goal with Christian Walton, of course, the goalkeeper, the first ever goalkeeper in the Plymouth Career Mode series last year. He was there from the, the summer transfer window to January in the first season. He was he was before Anthony Mears on Yal. He's now at Luton on loan, at least I think he's on loan. Um, right back. We have Genoi de Nassien from Accrington. Don't really know too much about him, so let's just move on. We have Carly Osborne, a Plymouth player. Not obviously not there last season. I don't know where he was last season, but he is he is good. I know who he is. He's a very good centre back. And um, the other centre back is actually actually used to play for Vale. I didn't know this until we played Mansfield the other night. Christian Pierce, apparently he was on loan at Vale in 2008. Um and he was always that sent I think this is the guy. He was always that centre back from the lower leagues who you always got because he was so fast. Obviously not as fast anymore, but 70 pace on a non-rare silver centre back is still really good. Andre Blackman at left back. Don't really know too much about him. So I'll just move on. Another Plymouth Carimo player, Oscar Threlkeld. I think he's now signed for Plymouth permanently, whereas last year he was on loan from Bolton. Um, now a CDM as well, he was a centre-back last year. We now have Isaac Vassell. Only 56 rated, but 87 pace. You know, I just needed wingers who were fast, you know. and It's League 2, that's all you go for, really, in League 2 teams. Another one is Mike Jones. Non-rare silver, 86 pace. You don't see that too often. Um, and he's 6 foot as well, so he's fairly tall. Um... So yeah, I don't really know too much about him. Sammy Schmodix. I had him in a career mode with Vale in FIFA 15 when I did like a massive ass road to glory with Vale on PS3. And he was the central attacking mid. He was the first player that I signed in that career mode. And he is a very good player. Um, now up front, we have Josh McQuaid, who used to be a Bournemouth player and he was quite prolific for them. Now at Luton in League 2. Still a good player. Still, he's still a good player. Um, look at he's, he's got 83 pace, 66 shot, 66 dribbling. Still looks fairly decent. Um, and the final player, the legend, one of the legends of the Plymouth career mode last year, Shay McCartan. Of course, he's an Accrington player. He's not a Plymouth player, but he is fast. He's not very good at defending. He's decent. He's, he scored 21 goals in the first season of the Plymouth career mode last year. So, who knows what he's going to do here. But that is my starting team. Now, this is the squad that I am in the process of building. We started off with this guy, Ed, Neil, Ed, Ed Nielsen. I don't know who he is, but we just I just bought him. I just wanted to buy a player that we could build a squad around. And Edda Nielsen was that guy. The second player I then bought was Louis Muriel. I had quite a few coins on the Weber, 2,900 to be exact. And 
I just bought him because he's he's been amazing. He's, he's such a good player in FIFA. He always has been. And we also have Mauricio Isla and Vlad Kirikesh, who was a former BPL player, former Premier League player, sorry. And he was always that centre back he got because he was fast. But obviously, again, just like Christian Peters, not so much. But still a good player. <laughs> so we're going to build a Serie A team to start off with. So I guess we just get into a game now. So here we are, our first opponent, and he has that team. Right, okay. He's got 67 chemistry. He has got a League 2 player up front in Jamil Matt. Um, but uh, I, I reckon I can beat this guy. His wingers are a centre back and a centre mid, so I'm definitely I'm definitely good in that perspective. Let's do this. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Save! No! What? I thought you were better than that. Sorry, I was a bit distracted then as well because. Just because something going on outside, so uh, yeah. And now Sandy's barking. <sighs> How did Walton not save that though? Hold on a minute though. McCartan wins it. Danassian! Oh god, what a save! Oh my god! Oh. <sighs> Matt with the goal. And he can just win a header just like that. My players can't. Sick. Who's the cell? That's not the pass I wanted, but it's worked out. And who is that? Show me your number. It's Josh McCoy with the goal. That was a great run from the cell. That's not the pass I wanted to do, but McCoy took it well, didn't he? No, not again. Damn it. That's a ball. Go on, McCartan. Go on, McCartan. Carry on your form from the Plymouth career mode. That's a great finish, mate. Great finish. Shea McCartan is back. this running through oh no I didn't mean to pass it out there Vassell ball into that wasn't even Vassell Vassell's the person who scored it who was it was um, Danassian okay we've pulled it back we were 3-1 down and Isaac Vassell has leveled it up oh come on are you serious spend all that time trying to tackle the guy and then when I do, it's a perfect pass to Matt and Jamil Matt has a hat-trick for him Jones good ball, oh what a header from is that Osborne, I think that's Osborne it is Osborne and Carly Osborne has levelled it up once again for us and to be honest with you, I think a draw is a fair result from this game Is McCoy? Can we get a winner? Can we get a winner? In for Schmodix. Oh my god, we're ahead for the first time in this game. We are ahead. I don't believe this is happening. I thought I thought the chance had gone. That pass was so weak. I can't believe we've just won that. I genuinely can't believe it. What has happened? <laughs> We, we weren't ahead at all in that game until we went 5-4 up. What a game. What a start to the series that is. Five different goal scorers as well. That was a mad game. And yet, yeah, Jamil Matt still gets the match ball. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to look for a strike partner for Luis Muriel in our team. I did uh, buy all the coin boost. So I now have 1,880 coins, and uh, yeah, let's look for a good strike partner for Muriel. 
And to leave, there's even Mar there's even Icardi's there. I mean, 1,800 coins can take you a long way in a league like the Serie A. So in the end, I didn't go for a striker because there is one striker in particular that I want for this team. It might take me a while to get him, but trust me, you'll know who it is. I'm not telling you though. So instead, I've gone for Marco Piaccia. I think that's how you say his name. He plays for Juventus. He's a left midfielder. I think he did pretty well for Croatia in the Euros, if I remember correctly. He's got 85 pace and 84 dribbling. 70 physical as well, which on a winger is quite good. Four star weak foot and four star skill moves. He looks sick. He really does look really good. He cost me 1,800 coins, so that's pretty much all my coins. I only have 80 left. But yeah, a really good addition to the team, I think. So to end off this episode, I'm just going to redeem all the prizes that I've got from uh, 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 winning, from doing the manager tasks that I've done already. I uh, only got a few, um, so we've got a, a starter pack. Oh, it gave me the uh, stadium in the background, okay. Um, I've already done these on my other account, but I forgot what they give you. <laughs> um, a loan player? Oh, oh, these are different. Uh, because Pjanic was an option last time. Uh, we've got Ruffier, Van der Veel, Felipe Luis, and Aspria. Um, got four star skills, he's not bad. None of those do anything for me, but I guess I'll go with Felipe Luis, who will probably go straight into the. Yep, he's there. Um, <laughs> uh, three items. What do we have here? Three fitness cards, fantastic. Um, stop giving me tutorials, you stupid game. Change club name. Oh yeah, it wants me to change the club name. Confirm club name. There we go, changed it. <laughs> now we have a bronze pack. So, this will end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below and smash, wait what? And if, and if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace. Kiko, keep running. Patterson, what are you doing? No, 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 no. In fact, Cambridge could score anyway. Oh, oh my God, Santos. Santos, you're actually kidding me.